Hey everyone, today we're diving into setting up Sky Tools imaging for use with Nina. This tutorial will walk you through the entire process, step by step. So, let's get started. First, we need to configure your imaging system to use Nina as the control system. If this is a new imaging system, you will need to first carefully go through all of the aspects of setting up that imaging system, and then set the control system to Nina. It's very important not to cut any corners in doing this because if you get anything wrong in the setup, you're going to be frustrated later when things don't work properly for you. Open your imaging system and choose the system you want to use. Click on the Control Systems button and in the Control Systems menu, select Nina from the dropdown. Save your settings. Sky Tools will now know that your imaging system is to be used with Nina. Next, we need to set up Sky Tools to work with Nina. We'll start by configuring the Nina setup within Sky Tools. Select Nina Setup from the top level setup menu. This dialog is used to tell Sky Tools where to find the Nina files on your computer. Both Sky Tools and Nina must be installed on the same device. First, locate the Nina profile folder. The typical location for this folder is in the App Data path. However, the App Data folder is hidden by default, so you might need to make it visible first. To make the App Data folder visible in Windows, open File Explorer. To do that, press Win plus E on your keyboard or click on the File Explorer icon in the taskbar. View Hidden Items. In Windows 10, click on the View tab at the top of the File Explorer window. Then check the box labeled Hidden Items. In Windows 11, click on the View menu in the command bar at the top of the File Explorer, then click on Show and choose Hidden Items. Once the App Data folder is visible, browse to the Nina Profile folder as set in the Sky Tools dialog. Next, set the Nina Targets folder. We recommend using a custom folder for these targets rather than the default folder that Nina uses. Create a new folder called Sky Tools within the Nina directory and select it as your targets folder. Now let's prepare Nina. Start Nina on the same device that Sky Tools is installed on. In Nina, go to Options, then select Imaging. Under Sequence, find the Sequencer Targets folder and change this to the Sky Tools folder you created earlier. Ensure the path looks something like this. Next, go to Equipment and check the Filter Wheel settings. Ensure that the filter names match those in Sky Tools. Note the name of the Nina profile you're using, as you'll need it later. To review or change the filters assigned to your imaging system in Sky Tools, Click on Filters. Select a filter that is assigned to your imaging system, the list on the right, and press View Edit. The label where it says Four Plans must match the label used in Nina. If necessary, you can edit it and click OK. Open the Scheduler tab in Sky Tools. Click Plan Settings under Schedule. You should see a list of Nina profiles. If not, revisit the Nina setup steps to ensure the profile folder is set correctly. Select the active profile that you are using with Nina from the profile menu. If you change profiles in Nina, be sure to change the profile here as well, if you intend to use Sky Tools with that profile. Check the boxes next to available options as necessary. These are Nina options, so see the Nina documentation for a full explanation. Close the dialog by clicking OK. Using the Sky Tool Scheduler to create an optimized schedule for Nina to execute is a powerful way to capture your images. Sky Tool specializes in optimizing your imaging schedule, considering the best times of night for each filter and the ideal sub exposure times and gain settings based on the conditions at those times. Once you've set up your imaging projects in Sky Tools, adjust the schedule settings in the scheduler. First, clear any existing schedules. If necessary, enter your available imaging times or drag the start and end timelines to define the time available for imaging. Then generate the new schedule. 
The quickest way to do this is to click the Auto Schedule button. Advanced users can build a custom schedule by adding projects one at a time. Although it is important to keep in mind that SkyTools is still scheduling according to its algorithm in order to obtain the most efficient and consistent images, so this is not full manual control. Save the schedule for Nina by clicking Save Nina Sequence, which will export it to your Targets folder in Nina. Now that your schedule has been created in Sky Tools, it's time to import it into Nina. Start Nina with the profile you set up. Launch the Advanced Sequencer and add your startup and shutdown procedures. Many people create a template with all of the startup and shutdown procedures predefined. Switch to the Targets tab in Nina and sort by name to see the Sky Tools generated targets. The Sky Tools targets are grouped by night, so be sure to open the view of the targets for the correct night. Drag each target into the sequencer in the order that they are numbered in. And that's it. Your sequence is ready to be executed. Remember, the schedule created by Sky Tools is specific to each night, so repeat the scheduling process for new imaging sessions on different nights. Once a night has passed, drag each target to the trash to delete it. And there you have it. By following these steps, you'll be able to seamlessly integrate Sky Tools and Nina to optimize your image capture. Clear skies and happy imaging.